Okay, so what is an appraisal gap and where does it come into play in a real estate transaction? First, I think it's worth mentioning that there can be a difference between what a valued licensed appraiser comes up with versus the value that a home buyer may be willing to pay for a property. In other words, this is a comparison of appraised value versus market value. Now, an appraisal gap is when the appraised value falls short of what the home buyer has offered. So it follows that the appraisal gap coverage is the additional funds the buyer agrees to bring to closing to cover the gap between the appraised value and the contract price. In this situation, the sale doesn't have to be canceled, but it means that the buyer and seller need to negotiate and agree if that difference will be bridged and to what degree. I started seeing buyers offer appraisal gap coverage as early as 2014 or so, but the size of those gaps were very different from, from what's common in our market today. Today's market conditions are unique. We have a market where home values are increasing at a rate that often outpaces what recent comparable sales might show. When that happens, the home buyers are now often promising to bridge the appraisal gap with the additional cash as part of their down payment rather than risk losing the house if the seller were to decide to sell it to someone else. For example, if you've offered to pay $600,000 for a house and the appraiser only values the home at $570,000, there's a $30,000 appraisal gap. The buyer could agree to bridge that gap with $30,000 of their own cash in addition to or as part of their down payment. The buyer could also agree to a smaller amount, say $10,000. If the seller accepted your offer in this scenario, they would end up with $10,000 more than the appraised value or $580,000 in this case. But at that amount, the final price would actually still fall short of the original sales price that was agreed to in the contract. That's the risk both buyer and seller agree to in this case. Let's take that one step further. So if the appraiser valued the property at $595,000, then the gap is only $5,000. Your $10,000 gap guarantee is more than enough to cover that gap. And the seller gets the $600,000 that you agreed to per your offer contract. Now, not every buyer is, is willing to or can do this, but if you can, you're likely to be more competitive and your offer can be more attractive to a seller in the event that multiple offers are received. Offering to pay to bridge any potential appraisal gap can be a very solid way to make your offer stand out without only having to increase the offer itself. Now, I think there's some risk involved here and I think it's pretty obvious. If you agree to pay an appraisal gap, you're paying more than what a licensed appraiser valued the property at. In a market where property values are rapidly increasing, there's little risk. In Denver, we've seen home values increase at close to 20% year over year. If you're buying the property and plan to hold it for the foreseeable future, the risk is spread out over time and therefore also minimized. And let's face it, sometimes appraisers are just behind the times and offer a value that doesn't reflect true market conditions. In that case, risk is also minimized. Keep in mind that an appraiser is offering an opinion. It's an educated opinion, but still an opinion. If 10 other home buyers are willing to pay close to what the winning bid is, that represents market value. If that number happens to exceed the appraiser's valuation, it could be the appraiser who's wrong and your risk is also limited in this scenario. The good news is if the property appraises at contract value, there is no gap be to be bridged and you don't have to pay anything additional. Further, it's important to understand that no matter how much of an appraisal gap you've agreed to pay, you never have to pay more than the contract price that you agreed to. For home buyers, whether or not to offer to pay an appraisal gap is a question of strategy and represents how competitive they're likely to be in our current market conditions. Best of luck.